What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you another in-depth review video of the all-new 2024 Kia Sportage in the SX Prestige trim package. And we're going to be talking about the exterior, the interior, and specs about this exact car. But before we do, because it is not a sponsored video and we truly need and appreciate your guys' support here at Vagabond Builds, if you guys would like to tap that like button and subscribe to our channel, it would really help us out. Also, a special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Kia here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California for providing us this beautiful car for this review. If you have something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us and we could talk details later. Also, keep watching and stay tuned because we are going to be dropping that MSRP sticker so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on this car and the price tag on top. Now, let's go ahead and talk Kia Sportage. So now let's kick this review off with talking some specs about this Kia Sportage SX Prestige in the all wheel drive. Now what we have under the hood is a 2.5 liter direct injection gas power engine, four cylinder with a eight speed automatic transmission that gives you 187 horsepower with 178 pounds feet of torque. A little bit about the MPG for people who'd like to know, 23 city, 26 highway and a 25 combined with a 14.3 gallon gas tank size. If we come over to the side of the car and talk length of the car width and height of the car in inches, starting with the length is 184 inches with 73 inches and a height of 67 inches. And because we have the all wheel drive sitting in front of us, you get a minimum ground clearance of about 8.3 inches. If you have the front wheel drive sportage, that will kind of come down over to the 7.1 inch ground clearance. That is something to take into consideration. If need be, you have to go off-roading or you're heading up to the mountain. Remember, get the all-wheel drive. My best advice to anybody would be all-wheel drive because it's just nice having it. And I'm sure the MPG is a little bit worse on the all-wheel drive because, again, you're running a um, heavier drive terrain or you're pushing all four tires, okay? so. Let's talk Sportage, SX, Prestige. Now remember, different trims, you're going to be seeing different color schemes, things like that, like the cameras, the 360, and all that good bell and whistle stuff. The white, on, the white is called the Glacier White for exterior paint color. Kia emblem in that kind of metallic silver trim. Piano black gloss grill. Bumper sensors integrated into that kind of mid area of that front end. Piano black gloss in the lower grille along with that metallic silver and your fog lights. We left those on. LED in the kind of dual step uh, jewel eye headlight with the LED fog light and you're getting premium lighting technology on this car. Coming over to the side of the car. Now one thing I wanted to point out to you guys. See how that kind of piano black gloss or that black paint kind of comes over to the wheel wheel trim? Being the SX Prestige in a higher trim, you don't have that matte black plastic, but you have that painted wheel well trim, giving it more of an expensive look. Parking marker integrated into that wheel well trim and loving how these lights kind of just come up on the side of the car, adding kind of some more sportier look to this kind of compact SUV or hybrid if you want to call it. All right, um, side mirror, integrated brake, uh, integrated blinker, sorry, not brake, blinker lighting system with your camera right under that side mirror. The wheels themselves, let's go ahead and talk wheels. They're running the Michelin Primacies all seasons. And what do we see? It's a 235, 50, and 19 with a spring strut suspension, okay? Now, opening this door, wanted to show you guys kind of the rocker panel area, the trim in that black paint with that metallic molding. Black gloss going around the windows in the tint going from the second row over to the back. You have your roof rails in that same piano black color or the black gloss. And then coming over to the side, you go ahead and push this lid. Here's your gas tank and they still have a gas lid or cap. A little bit of character coming here in the quarter panel area with that kind of textured feel if you feel that. Coming over to the rear end, Sportage. Kia in the 4X, and that is to let you know that it is an all-wheel drive. Up top, you got the spoiler with the integrated brake light. Now, under that sportage, I mean, sorry, under that um, spoiler, you have the hidden uh, windshield wiper or the rear windshield wiper. 
with that trim coming down the back side of that glass. LED lighting here in the back coming from the quarter panel in over to the tailgate. Now it stops there. This is just kind of a black little rectangular piece trim that goes across. Coming down in that same black and the metallic silver to finish off that lower side diffuser area. Bumper sensors in that kind of textured feel. It's kind of like a 3D rectangular pop-out design with the parking reflectors, okay? Camera is right over the license plate. Let's go ahead and pop open this tailgate and talk some cargo area. Automatic lift gate, which is very convenient in the SX Prestige. If we talk cargo area with the second row seats up, you get about 40 cubic feet of space. With the second row seats down, you get about 70 cubic feet of space. Now, how do we drop those seats on the right and left? You have a lever, very convenient. Now, go ahead and drop those, and that's what it kind of looks like. It's not the same level, so it pops up on those second row seats. For people who'd like to know that, I get questions about that. Spare tire, I'm a fan of having my spare tire just in case I don't get stuck anywhere, okay? Let's go ahead and plug that in. Now, all right. Now you have under this some little space hidden cargo area for there, or you wanna hide some stuff down there. But with a 12 volt outlet here on the driver's side of that wall. Now we're pretty much done with the cargo area, exterior, and some specs. Let's go ahead and talk interior. So now sitting on the interior of the 2024 Kia Sportage and from the 2023, we don't have much change with regards to the interface and the technology with the touch sensitive screen and all that good stuff. Okay, if you guys wanna see what the 2023 in-depth review video is, check us out at Vagabond Builds and look for that video under Kia Sportage. Let's go ahead and bring this interior to you from this door panel area. You have your window switch area with the electric controls for your side mirror. And then you also have the memory seating, one and two, up to two memory seating. Your handle with your kind of nice textured design on those inlays. This is a Harman Kardon premium sound in the SX Prestige. That is a very nice thing that they do because I like premium sound in my car. Cup holder and some more personal pocket room. Here on the left of the manual steering column, parking brake, traction control, and then your lift gate button with your lighting for your dashboard. Driver cockpit cluster, you can change display on this cluster. You could go through info cards. Okay, let's go ahead and go through info cards just to show you guys a little bit about the car itself, okay? Coming back, your compass, info about your tire pressures, and you have the um, uh, traffic sign recognition on this car. So. Just more to take into consideration. We're not gonna go through it all. Head over to Roseville Kia and these guys will spend time with you guys because if the video is too long, you guys wouldn't be watching me. Your control for windshield wipers, lighting system on the left, infotainment screen. Let's go ahead and show you guys that. I'm gonna show you guys a navigation full screen, what it kind of looks like, 12.3 inch. Go ahead and go to climate, show you guys that also. Not only that you can control climate from touch sensitive screen, you could also control the climate from here. Now, if we go ahead and go back, and then we could go over to uh, the um, setup, sorry, it was setup, and then we go over to vehicle, let you kind of know driving convenience, forward safety, driver attention warning, all the bells and whistles regards to tech and safety, okay? If we go over to cluster, we can change the illumination, illumination cluster theme selection, Okay, we could go to Classic B, and then we get a different look. If we go to Classic C, changes, and then go cl Classic A, and leave it as regular, everybody. Now, the camera system, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at the camera system that shoots us over to the area here on the center console. Go ahead and push that camera system. We got the 360 bird's eye view. Let's go ahead and go around. Check that out. There goes our Kia Sportage down okay and you could also change the angles of that camera if you click on that button twice all right and going home you get the time and all that stuff you can literally set that by clicking on that going back home now this little control unit is pretty cool why because they maximize this little unit here if you go ahead and push the, that little fan you get your fan or your climate controls but if you go ahead and push that little arrow or kite looking symbol you get 
the touch sensitive for your map and you can control that infotainment screen from here as well. So multiple ways to control that infotainment screen. Carrying forward USB-A, USB-C with a wireless charging pad in the SX Prestige and a 12 volt outlet 180 watt. Heated and ventilated seats with a heated steering wheel in the SX Prestige trim with your shift knob. Drive modes, you have up to four drive modes in the SX Prestige, normal, sport, smart, and snow. And you get a different kind of, I mean, not really. Let's go ahead and click sport. Yeah, not much of a difference on the uh, display there. Hill decline assist, auto hold, automatic on and off engine button. And that's pretty much for the control units there. Cup holders, pretty cool cup holders. If you go ahead and slide these walls there, slide this back, you can use that area for things, maybe bigger cups or mugs or things of that sort. Then if you want that cup holder back, you'll press that button and that wall will slide right back into place, giving you a wall for that smaller cup. Cubby room, simple, straight to the point. Over us, we have that full glass electric visor that goes all the way over to the back with the tilt and slide roof sunroof option and get a load of how big this sunroof is, okay? Going back, we got the LED true light lighting up top as well. Okay. Now, finishing off this front end with kind of the seats in that leather wrap seating, perforated, and the electric controlled passenger seat as well. In front of that, you have no lockable uh, glove compartment, but get a load of how they kind of bring the piano black gloss with the metallic silver trim. Just very nice for the Kia Sportage. Now we're pretty much done with the front side of this interior. Let's go ahead and show you a quick look on the second row. So now second row, everybody. This is what it looks like from the second doors or the rear doors looking over to the back. And that's what 70 cubic feet of space look like. Now we go ahead and lift this seat up by the lever here on the right and the left of this bench. Lift it up and it pops it right back up, okay? Just like that. Let's go ahead and pick up this 60 percenter. Now, drop that angle. You can drop these angles as you see, which makes like a longer road trip more comfortable. Car seat compatibility, same look coming over from the front to the back with regards to the cover of the seats. Let's go ahead and drop the armrest. Armrest with your little bitty cup holders for like maybe like an Izzy or something. Now, what's in front of us? We got the hard back plated front seats with the hooks if you wanna tie something down or a grocery or something or a bag. USB-C plug-in on the side of each seat. So nobody's fighting for plug-ins. And in between those seats, you have your vent and a little bit more of your cubby room. The door itself, same look coming over from the front to the back as well in that kind of textured inlay, metallic silver piano black trims and the Harman Kardon premium sound system. Up on the left, you have your oh snap handle with your true light LED lighting. Now guys, pretty much all done with this review. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Remember to tap that like and subscribe button to help us out. We would truly appreciate it. Look at our other reviews and our comparisons here at Vagabond Builds. Stay tuned. We have more cool things coming. God bless you.